Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos each and every day so if there's something in particular that you guys want us to react to let us know by dropping a link in the comment section below and we'll do it for you you can check out our second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 we post weekly content and you guys can hit there, subscribe and just enjoy we've got a podcast and we've so far put out some amazing content out there which you guys don't want to miss you can head you can find us on itunes spotify podbean this channel or our second youtube channel for the visual and we've got a patreon account called funny and just see you guys can feel free to become members and we'll appreciate a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed to our channel so far thank you for subscribing liking commenting sharing everything that you guys are doing is not going unnoticed and we're very very grateful so thank you i hope you guys are doing all right and may you stay blessed so today i'm going to be reacting what one of you guys suggested british scientist announcing shahada lost interview with arthur so yeah without wasting time let's get into the video by the way this is going to be in two parts so let's get into the video ashhadu an la ilaha illa allah wa ashhadu anna muhammadan rasul allah I witness that there is no God but Allah, and I witness that Muhammad is his prophet. El Salamu Alaikum. Uh, my uh, present appointment as a head of an electrical department in a university in London. For the first half of my life, uh, before that, I worked in industry, uh, the latter few years designing very large electrical machines. So most of my life has professionally been devoted to uh, electrical engineering primarily, also mechanical engineering, and I have spent uh, much of the rest of my time uh, studying and researching in parapsychology, psychical research. I am here in this conference because uh, uh, you, my colleague and I decided that we would offer a paper on some unusual states of consciousness which are not uh, very much uh, the concern of normal science, but which are certainly uh, dealt with in the Quran and Hadith. Uh, I would just like to add uh, that we, our, our findings together hmm. uh, showed in the paper, which has been presented to the conference, that this coincides with the Quranic ayat, uh, which I may read in Arabic. Uh, we read a paper uh, on altered states of consciousness of the human being called out-of-the-body experiences, uh, lucid dreaming and near-death experiences. We decided uh, to give a paper on a subject which so far has been rather neglected, uh, particularly in regard to the uh, Holy Quran and Hadith. Uh, that is our paper dealt with altered states of consciousness of human beings. Uh, states of consciousness different from ordinary physical space. 
we considered three particular states of consciousness, the first being the out-of-body experience, in which many human beings for uh, indeed many thousands of years have had the experience of floating outside their physical body uh, in another body usually but not always and seeing their physical body lying on the bed after interesting experiences later returning to it that normally takes place with no break in consciousness from getting in bed uh, to finally having the experience of returning to the body. The other kind of state of consciousness that we dealt with uh, was lucid dreaming. In lucid dreaming one also has um, an experience of moving around uh, what looks like the physical world Sometimes it's in a world which can be altered by the dreamer. The lucid dreamer, the word lucid, means the dreamer is well aware that they are dreaming and that their physical body is in uh, another place, perhaps back home in bed. They remember the things they did earlier and they remember the things they're going to do the following day. It has been found possible to communicate uh, with a lucid dreamer uh, through the action of their physical body. For example, uh, a lucid dreamer remembers that he discussed an experiment with the experimenters. He can flick his eyes to and fro uh, and produce electrical activity in the muscles which move his eyes and that will signal to the experimenters in their ordinary state of consciousness that the experiment is about to begin and then he can perhaps lift a weight and let a weight down to the ground again in his dream and it has been found that certain electrical activity occurs in the muscles of his arms and legs. That is the sort of experiment that can be done to study that particular state of consciousness called lucid dreaming. The final of the three states of consciousness we uh, considered in our paper was the near-death experience. During the last 20 years or so, it has been possible for doctors to resuscitate people, patients, subjects who are clinically dead. That is, they have no heartbeat, no breathing, no electrical brain activity which can be recorded, uh, any doctor would pronounce them dead. Sometimes subjects having experience of that kind have heard themselves pronounced by a doctor or, or by other friends around or others to be dead. They have then had the experience of hearing a rushing roaring noise rather like a, a wind and then moving along a dark tunnel and coming out into the light until relatively recently as i explained i didn't know very much about the scientific work which is to be found in these uh, religious teachings uh, finding out about that uh, made me think very deeply Uh, I found uh, um, recently um, that um, my beliefs, my practices of many years, appear to be uh, in agreement uh, with those of Muslims. Uh, since uh, birth I have not eaten uh, pork or indeed any other kind of meat. I have always been a vegetarian and uh, I very early discovered uh, in my life that uh, alcohol was not uh, to my taste and I have never drunk alcohol. Should I add in addition I have never smoked cigarettes which are also damaging. Um, so I think um, I was rather surprised uh, uh, when uh, Sheikh Zindani uh, told me 
uh, after a discussion about my views and beliefs and my personal uh, practices that I was uh, indeed a Muslim. And of course, I was only too happy, as I have always been happy, uh, to, to tell anyone who wishes that these are my views uh, and beliefs. So I have been very happy this week uh, to join uh, the Muslim family.